Yes, my people, good day. Working on a Hyundai today. This is our Hyundai Tucson, I think. Let me check. Santa Fe, Hyundai Santa Fe. All right, back to the front. It's a little bit early in the season, but some people getting a jump on it. We are doing AC lines. Customer states. They put refrigerant in and it doesn't last the whole season. So they have a leak. So they want to check for the leak. And then when I start looking around for the leak, look what I found. You see that kind of oil on the line right there? You see how the line is clean on one side and kind of oily on the other side? That is a telltale sign. The line is leaking at the clamp. So it's coming out onto the line. And then now it's soiling the line, the oil and stuff, right? Because look at this line over here. You see how that line is dry, right? And then look at this line over here. See how that line stay? Look at that line right here. See how it's oily? And then look at this line. You see how that line dry? So that line is failing. So I have all of the lines here that I'm working with. I have this one. I have this one. All right. So step one in working on these. And before we even get to that step one, let me just say, whenever I am working or I'm doing AC work, I'm opening the system, putting lines on or whatever, I always replace the dryer. It's a good practice. So you should practice to do that as well. Helps to keep the, seat, the, the system running right. Especially the car is kind of old and the, the dryer probably has never been replaced. And now you're going to open the system. Let me show you what the dryer look like. Boom. Here go a dryer right here. <laughs> now, this is the dryer. <laughs> this this is the dryer. This is what the dryer is now. <laughs> the more you know, for those who don't know, no, top in nice boy, you hear me up on TV. Yes, so this is the dryer. They call this a desiccant bag. Yeah, and that fits inside the condenser. So, <laughs> step one, remove bumper. Boy, let me tell you. Yo, let me tell you. Hey, it's crazy. Fortunately, it's not so difficult to remove, so... A few clips and we get it off. I have the new guy with me today, so always speaking out of turn. And then. It's right, so now. User. This is a 10 millimeter. Put in here, so. You unscrew that. I had breaking it loose before. It comes out and then in there is a little cap. There's a little o-ring in there and then also a little cap and I'm trying to pick it out of there. Sometimes you have to switch between tools to get into these little tight spaces. So I reach for my pick and I'm able to get the o-ring out, put it to the side. But there's also a little cap in there with like a filter screen. And I'm getting that out as well. So I, the, the, the pick just used for, worked for me a second ago. So if the pick worked for me a second ago, it should work for me in this second too as well. Well, that's what I think anyway. So try that. That didn't work. So I just reach for my <laughs> these pliers here. Boy! I don't buy them recently. I have a smaller set and this is the larger set. The smaller one would work best, but since I bought this, I haven't gotten to use it. So now is the time. So I just reach for that and you see how well it works. <laughs> so it was a good decision on my part. <laughs> Bag way up, sir. Bag stuff up all the way up in there, No. The process of getting the desiccant bag out of the housing sometimes is kind of tricky because this one is stuffed all the way up in there and you, you know I don't have any needle nose that thin to go all the way up so I have to kind of shake it down and shake it, shake it, shake it. See if I can get it close down so I can grip it with the needle nose and you know sometimes it's tricky. It, it kind of stuck up in there so if you run into a situation like this just be patient. Shake it, tap it gently maybe on a block of wood. You know I'm using the block of hand when I should be using a block of wood. But, you know what I mean? Just do what I say, not what I do. That's the best way to go. So, I keep on shaking it and tapping it. And I get it kind of close. Then I use the pick. See if I can snag it. And then pull it down a little bit closer. But the fabric, the material that the bag is made of, it kind of stubborn. Almost like, you know, 
well, burlap kind of material or, or we, have, we have a thing in Jamaica we call it crocus bag and it almost similar to that kind of mat material so it's stubborn right and the space is limited so I just be patient tricky. it's a little bit difficult a little bit tricky, tricky but, but just be patient it will so. it will it will come out just have your needle nose but ready stop, and you stop. pick if I had a longer set of pick that would work good you understand but I had only ordered I ordered them online after this and they came in after the job was done. So next job I'll be more than ready and see there, pop, pull right out. Hey. You see that? See that come out? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's it right there. That look out from in here, see? And the blow back and the hose and the line. See? Leak from under there, sir. And then it blow out onto the line, see? See? So if you're searching for a leak and you're looking at the line and you see the line kind of moist like that, because Look at this one. This one wasn't leaking, but it came as an assembly, so it got changed. See how dry it is? Yeah. So, compare that to this. See that? Right there. Not a major leak, but a leak nonetheless. This is what the finished product looks like. These are the lines installed, and I'm charging up the system. I have the AC machine hooked up. I put the refrigerant in and I'm just monitoring the pressures and see what they look like. And yep, high side looking great, low side looking great, right where I want it to be. It's not the middle of summer, so my pressures are a little bit on the low side, but that's fine. Let me see what the vent's talking about. So I have my thermometer in there and look, boom, boy, you see that, boy, what that, what that, <laughs> like 40 degrees, <laughs> that thing blowing bricks. Yeah, man, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, bless you. Yeah. And don't forget to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel.